Growing speculation over the future of Baltimore City's mayor. Stephanie Rawlings-Blake has been gracing national stages lately in a more positive light. WJZ's live political reporter Pat Warren has a look at where that may lead. Pat? Well, in her own words, she's not ruling anything out. Stephanie Rawlings-Blake assumed the office of mayor in 2010. I have not uh, asked anyone to pack their bags. Now she's packing her own. I have chosen to govern rather than to campaign, and I hope the public sees it for that. But governing isn't all she's been doing. Front and center at the Democratic National Convention, Don't seated next to President Obama as leader of the U.S. Conference of Mayors, of national news Gray. interviews on policing and prosecution. In the wake of the Freddie Gray unrest, Stephanie Rawlings-Blake chose not to seek re-election, but appears to be laying the groundwork for the next step. She's a bad man, a it was Mayor Rollins Blake who convinced the Urban League to make Baltimore its platform for saving U.S. cities. This helps set the agenda of where we go from here. And where does she go from here? I'm not, you know, thinking about anything in particular. I'm not ruling anything out. Not ruling out a higher position with the Democratic National Committee where she's now secretary. It's a way to stay active on the national scene and to play an important role in strengthening the party. Or maybe a run for governor. Undoubtedly, uh, uh, in a contest between her and Hogan, uh, the issue of the Freddie Gray uprising would uh, come up. She says her focus now is Baltimore. And there's plenty of time for me to, to figure out what's next. And she's not ruling out private practice. There are plenty of law firms who would be happy to have a former mayor. I'm Pat Warren reporting live now. Back to you, Denise. All right. Thank you very much, Pat. Mayor Rawlings-Blake will leave office 12 noon December 6th when the new mayor is sworn in.